Back to Onyenka. He's going to cross it to back post. Oh, it's a good... I mean, that's a great cross, but I don't know if you should take credit for it. What have I just seen? We are looking at level 15, Frank Oyenka, who's six foot tall, medium, medium, three star, three star, controlled, lengthy, right footed, can play centre mid or CDM. Now, as a centre defensive mid, he looks unbelievably good with those defensive stats. Really good agility and balance for somebody who's also six foot tall. Good sprint speed, not the best acceleration, but I'll tell you how to get that sorted in a minute. Good short pass and long pass as well, as well as good composure, dribbling, etc. Turns of play styles, we've got long ball pass, in or intercept, sorry, and slide tackle. Couldn't speak English there for a second. We have gone for an anchor, and the main reason instead of a shadow is if we jump over to footbin, you will see with a anchor, it makes him control lengthy. And in my opinion, that is the best accelerate type to go for if you have a midfielder. Means he gets faster the longer he sprints. So say if he sprints from a corner and keeps running, he's going to be quicker than anybody else, let alone with the 97 sprint speed. Now, don't get me wrong. Only makes him an 85 rated CDM. Whereas a shadow is going to maximize that pace to 99 sprint speed and 85 acceleration, as well as giving him an extra plus three or four on defense. But it keeps him on control, which means he gets to his speed and he stays there. He doesn't slow down, but he doesn't get quicker either. And I just think keeping him under control lengthy is what to go for. He's got a good body type in terms of lean. And obviously being six foot and 183 centimeters with 88 agility, he's going to be really, really good for us. We are playing in a 4-2-3-1 system and we are playing in foot champs today. So Frank's main job is to stop the attack and then possibly transition into attack with one or two passes here and there but his main job is to stop the attack that being said just go jump in some gameplay and see how yonke does for us today stop right there with the introduction of kits tokens and now evolutions needed fc points or coins to complete them there is no better time than to head over to iggm.com Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code Nanic at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So here is our opponent's team. And as mentioned, we are playing in a 4-2-3-1 system. With Onyenka being our CDM, he's going to be next to Kevin De Bruyne, who's going to be our assister in terms of transitioning to attack. So you can see he's got the blue shoes on. He's going to be playing in this role here. Number 22 on his back. He does feel very fast off the ball, I have to say. We're going to do a second man press. We're going to come over here. Oyenka coming over and a great tackle there to shut that down. And then a bit of a bad pass. We got away with it. But you can see he's kind of there just to cover the defenders in case they get caught out, as well as shutting down anything in midfield. So, for example, we get him on the ball here just to see what he feels like. So, he's got a bit of a big stride. A little one two to get him into the space. There we go. Now we've got him open. Get around that tackle. Good there. This is where the lengthy will come into it. Taking big strides. Oh, it's a bit slow on the pass. Now we just see his recovery speed. And that's what I mean with controlled lengthy. Is he gets quicker over time. And he should be able to catch up with certain plays. So we don't let our opponent finesse from there. That's going to go in. Good save. So you can see that's going to be the kind of role he's playing in. It won't be too attacking. I mean, if he gets in front of goal on a corner or something, then yeah, of course, we'll take a shot with him. But mainly it's to play these passes into the space and keep moving. So you find him here. We've got that lovely ball out wide. Lovely transition. And we get a shot block. But again, that all stemmed from Onyenka making that run through. Onyenka just shutting down Leal, forcing him into a bad pass. Get back to it. Now we can transition straight out. Got tackled there. A bit of a shame. Getting good interception. Keeping that pressure on. And that I don't mind at all. That is his job in a nutshell. Now we've got that pass through. And look at that for a through ball. One pass out. Unfortunately, Tom Mori come over. But one pass out. And we've managed to transition. Onyenka's got to come over here. He's going to cover the middle again. Yanka here, great tackle to win the ball back. Now he got a transition. Can't find the pass, unfortunately. Ramirez shutting us down. Yanka picks up the loose pass. Straight in to Depay. Going to send him up the run for a little bit. Play that ball through. One little layoff. Oh, I tried to play the left foot there. Yeah, he's going to come over and cover Griezmann. Good turn. And a good interception. It's a shame we didn't go back to our player. But you can see there, that's how he causes the problems. He keeps that pressure on all times. So, for example, if he blitz past us, Onyenka's there to eat that up. A lovely little ball roll. And now we've got the pass down the line, which has been intercepted again. He's just shutting down almost every single attack, making those tackles when we need him to, and then getting these passes out as well, which I really like. Bad pass there, I have to say. Force him into a bad pass again. Straight back to Onyenka, who's going to drive away from Rafael Leal here. Bit of a heavy touch, though. Right, that's on Yank. He's got that switch. It's a really bad pass from our player there, but good pass out with the left foot. Got the attack down this side. And you guys got to come back here. We've been caught out.
Force him into that bad pass. And he keeps getting these lucky rebounds. They're just out of my control. <laughs> you intercept the pass. I mean, we got the ball there. I mean, that was a bit of luck on our end. But we get the ball, and then it just rebounds straight back to him. And I really don't understand why. Obviously, he's also doing that 71 depth glitch on us where there's, like, no space to get out. But it's not a problem. We played a way out this time. We'll have a look at his set piece to see if he can take corners, penalties, or free kicks. They don't normally boost him on these statistics, so we'll have to see here. So, unfortunately, he's terrible with all of them. So, we won't be getting any crosses or anything to him like that. Do drill it to the edge of the box. We've got ourselves another corner. And we got ourselves one goal up here. One nil lead in champs. Nothing to really show you in terms of attack from our opponent. Who's doing the kickoff glitch? Not only is he doing a 71 depth, he's doing that as well. Nienke here just shutting down that attack. Force him out wide. I don't mind. Get Walker to come over. Then we can cover him as we run in. Keeping that pressure on. Nienke on the ball. Getting away from Rafael. Oh, don't forget he's got high pace. We do get a little bit of composure, but good pass in the end. Got Son running. Can we find him with that through ball? What a pass. And we should have had an assist there. Very good save. But you can see, though, though, you can even play those passes out if we need him to. Wide open there. You don't want to give him that much space because he will get the pass off. So turn out wide again. Lovely drag two over. We've lost the ball here. We need Onyanka to come over. And what a tackle it is to shut that attack. Now we've got ourselves a transition. Ball over the top. We got on the end of it. We can't. But that all came from Onyanka's interception. Again, he's here. Great tackle. Wins that ball back. Now we can drive him down the line. Use him as a fake run. Get a space open to Griezmann. Back to Onyenka. He's going to cross it to back post. Oh, it's a good... I mean, that's a great cross, but I don't know if you should take credit for it. What have I just seen? That's completely... That <laughs> threw me right off. Again, that all came for him winning the tackle. Again, there he is winning another tackle for us. Bad pass in the end because I didn't expect Kevin De Bruyne to be fouled. But you can see how he's just dominating the ball because his pass is so high as well. We've got the transition on the pass. But I don't know what to make of that cross. We do get a through ball here. That's an absolutely outrageous pass in. Gone for near post and a good save. But he's causing problems after problems because he can shut down the opponent's counterattack, which then gives us a counterattack. And that's going to be half time. So far, we have not conceded any goals. Our opponent is trying to do the 71 depth glitch. He's also trying to do the finesse shot and kickoff glitch as well. But it ain't working. Onyenka's winning every tackle. I'm interested to see if it's gone down as an assist for that cross. So let's go have a look. Yeah, it didn't go down as an assist. There's nothing to be surprised. We have a look at his stats quickly. He's had five out of six tackles won. He's made two interceptions. And he's won six out of 11 offensive duels, but eight out of 11 defensive. He's been absolutely shutting our opponent down. Which you couldn't ask for much more than that for his role. Let's see if we can carry on in the second half. Go on the ball. The only thing I will say about him is, of course, he's a little bit stiff when it comes into full run. And that sort of thing happens. He doesn't keep the composure of the passing sometimes, which is something you've got to be careful of because it is a bit weird to get used to. He's very used to, uh, or should I say, he's very good at doing the basics. But once you start complicating it ever so slightly, he's not the best at doing it. Like there, one little one-twos out wide. That's fine. And then we've got... A Son clean through. And the anchor's going to run for us as well. Going to use him as a dummy and then play it into him. Little ball roll. Again, not the best on the left stick, so we're going to have to slow it down. Not a problem. Good composure. Now we've got ourselves a decent attack. Little reset. Back into Onyenka. First time pass into Son. Into the finesse. And it's been blocked. Will it go for a corner? It doesn't. Onyenka attack. Gets, picks up the loose ball. And now we've got the transition. We've got s great pass in. Got Yenka here on the overlap. Green time and he gets the goal, which I didn't expect him to do, but fantastic movement from him. Managed to break in underneath and get that shot across goal. What a finish from him. All came from Carl Walker winning the tackle, him picking up the loose ball, one pass in, another pass into Son, and there he is on the overlap to get the third goal. Goal to kind of top off the perfect performance he's done for us today in champs. Against Awaran, just wins that tackle, no problem. This card is good. Don't get me wrong. I don't think he is the best midfielder in the game. But if you want him to do what you need him to do in terms of the boring defensive jobs, he's definitely up there. Now we see his recovery speed against Griezmann. Just keeping that pressure on him. Not a problem. Block that pass there. We love that from him. This is what I mean about this card. If you just stick him in that defensive role, he's got the pass to move. He's just not very quick on the left stick dribble. So if you're a left stick dribbler, you may struggle a little bit with him. But we do get him here. Great pass into Son. Back to... Oh, Griezmann nearly. 
Yeah, he's got to do it first time. We're forcing him into first time passes now, which I've just done the exact same thing back. But that's what you want your player to do, your opponent to do, because when we get him in the spaces like this, we can just play it straight into Son. What a ball. And a lovely assist there. And I think that's game over as he's going to rage quit by the looks of it. This card is good. For a card that's for free and you can just get by leveling up, he's going to be really good for objectives because he's low rated. And not only that, he does absolutely shut down the midfield. It's a shame he doesn't have more player styles in the defensive roles. But let's go jump back over to Footbin now. So I do think with an anchor, it really benefits him because he is a little bit tanky. He's called Frank the Tank for a reason, but he does feel a bit clunky on the ball. So you want to go for the lengthy because if you're not the best, say, for example, you like dragging players out and you miss tackles a lot, his recovery speed is really good because of the controlled lengthy. Like I said, it means he gets quicker and quicker as he carries on running. It means his recovery speed is going to help him. But also with an anchor, you can see here, it gets his interceptions up to 90, which he did absolutely fantastic for us. His stand tackles, he won 7 out of 8 stand tackles. Slide tackles are a little bit inconsistent because it's down to skill level or like skill issue sort of thing, whether you can tackle or not. We intercepted one pass with a slide tackle though. But again, overall, we got the finishing. Green time to shot, of course, but 76 finishing isn't terrible. But what I like the most about this card is his passing. I do think that goes under the radar because he can do these long and short passes into the space. He catches people out. Now, I do think the play styles are a massive letdown. Slide tackle, intercept, and long ball pass isn't great. Intercept's fantastic. It means he does interceptions a lot, which he did today. But the other two are just not the most helpful in the role that we need to play. But for a card that's originally a silver, who's got a plus, what, a 13 overall, is absolutely crazy good. But let me know if you have any questions about this card or any other card, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.